Ethan and Riley here with Bellingham Kite Paddle Surf. Today we're going to look at our two current favorite wings. Um, they're both recent releases. One's from Armstrong, the other from Ozone. We've got the Armstrong XPS and the Ozone Flux. Um, we're just going to do a quick comparison, uh, differentiate the two briefly, and yeah. Yeah. Like Ethan said, these are you know, two new wings, definitely shop favorites at the moment. Mm -hmm. I think everybody that's tried these agrees that either one is definitely next level. Yeah. Um, you can't go wrong. They're both fantastic. They're both super light, have updated rigid handles, tighter canopies, better wind range than you know anything in the previous generation. Um, but yeah, there's a couple you know, rather minor differences in the two, um, starting with the handles. The Ozone has kind of an EVA foam grip here over carbon tubes, so very stiff, a little bit grippier. Yeah. What's your also opinion the, on those Those handles? are round versus the XPS is a bit flatter. Um, mm -hmm. I think both are really good. Yeah. I, I tried both. I personally preferred the XPS handles, but I think it's just personal preference. And Yeah, yeah. I think these are a bit grippier, whereas the handles on the XPS with that webbing over the carbon. They're a bit softer, a little easier on the hands. Okay. Maybe, a, you know, for longer sessions, maybe you know, a little bit easier on the grip. Yeah, I think a little easier. Um, next up on the canopies, they're both quite tight. I think Armstrong went even a little bit tighter as far as the tension in the canopy. Um, I think that, you know, might make, make for a bit better, like grunt. Yeah, a little, a little better low end. Yeah, um, but it's also possible that if you're in varying wind ranges, the flux might be a better choice. The leading edge handles are a little different too, so Armstrong's going to be pretty stiff. It's not necessarily rigid, um, whereas the Ozone, kind of the same one that was on that Wasp V3. Yeah, yeah, rigid enough. Definitely a bit more wiggle in there. I think when I've used the XPS, it's a bit easier to use that handle to kind of move the wing around. Yeah. Um, whereas with the flux, it's kind of nice when you're you know, overpowered going downwind, it kind of lets the wing move around a little right. bit more without kind of yanking your hand maybe. Yeah. But uh, that XPS just sits so nicely. Yeah. It kind of just locks in. And what about windows? They both have windows. They do both have windows. I think I would personally say I like the windows on the XPS more. The Flux window, it works, but it's a bit more limited yeah. in terms of you know where you can see. Whereas the XPS, I'd, I'd say, is probably one of the best window layouts I've seen. It really yeah. gives you a pretty wide field of view. And of course, you can't rely on windows when you're out riding. You have to lift the wing up and look when there's other riders around too, but um, yeah, definitely helpful. Yeah. Um, I think both of the wings are super efficient kind of breakthroughs. The canopy shape is super similar, especially on the trailing edge of the wing, and I think that's really impacted the efficiency of these new wings, and hard handles are the best, the best way to do it. Yeah, like for all of us, they've really opened up. Yeah. Tax, yeah, um, you know, upwind performance, downwind performance with the, you know, pistol grip. Being yep. able to just, you know, flag out using that pistol grip gives you great control over the wing. Um, yeah, both absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Um, one other minor difference in the two: the Ozone does come with a waist leash. Yep. This is going to be a wrist leash, um, with the XPS really a preference thing there. We got both of these in stock. Um, a lot of our employees have used both of them. So if you have any more questions, you want to talk to someone about it, give us a call. You can always leave a comment down below and like and subscribe our video and we will see you on the next one.